From the very beginning of their history, at least in this country, if not in Great Britain, the Boy Scouts have had a very basic two-word motto. Be prepared. Be prepared. Obviously, that's not an original saying, because we hear that in our Gospels, especially the Gospel readings over the next couple of weeks. And what are we being prepared for? We're being prepared for the second coming of Christ, the day when the Lord will come again. And as we are coming to these final weeks of our liturgical year, in just a couple of weeks we will begin Advent, and with the first Sunday of Advent, at least as a church, we will no longer be in 2017, but we'll get a six-week head start on the rest of the world as we enter into Advent 2018, getting ready to celebrate Christmas 2018. And so as we're coming to the end of liturgical year 2017, the themes that we hear in the Gospel and in our other readings are those of the end times, of eschatology, of being prepared, and always being ready for that day when Christ will come again, whenever and however that will be. Matthew, in his Gospel, adds three parables to Christ's discourse on his second coming. The first of which is this one, the story of the wise and foolish bridesmaids. There are a couple things we perhaps could presume just from the details of this. One is that all the bridesmaids knew who the uh, bridegroom was. They were all aware of it, all aware of who he was and what they were preparing for. Second, we can presume that all throughout the story, their lamps were burning because when they awoke, the foolish bridesmaid said, our lamps are going out. So we're to presume that they were burning all along. But hopefully we know the story. The foolish ones did not bring the extra flasks of oil with them should they need it, whereas the wise virgins did, the wise bridesmaids did. And of course the story unfolds. And it gives a certain element, certain important details to consider when it comes to being prepared and how we go about preparing ourselves for that day of the bridegroom. And we see that in the lesson of the foolish bridesmaids who were not prepared. And we can perhaps take away three lessons in this gospel today on what it means to be prepared and how the proverbial oil is to be understood. The first is that a little oil does not last forever. When one grows complacent and one does not continue to be prepared, it is possible that one's preparedness can run thin, can run low, or run out altogether. And one can't say, how can you say I'm not prepared? I was prepared before, even if I'm not prepared now, and that has to count for something, because I was prepared before. Obviously, that's a lesson we see in today's Gospel, because the foolish bridesmaids obviously had oil that was burning, and oil that was running out, because the lamps were burning out. The fact that they had oil before did not make up for the fact that they ran out of oil and did not have that oil. They were not prepared when it counted. The second is that the oil is not retroactive. It doesn't count for past foolishness because they eventually arrived with the oil that they needed, but unfortunately it was too late. It didn't count for the fact that they were unprepared in the past, now that they crammed at the end, if you could say, if you could put it that way, and that they were prepared, but it was too late. They weren't prepared when they needed to be prepared. They got the flasks of oil, they had what they needed, but it wasn't in time, and didn't in the end count for anything when they weren't prepared when they needed to be prepared. So the present oil they eventually got didn't count for the past oil they should have had when the bridegroom finally arrived. Third, and perhaps the most pausing of all of them, is that preparedness is non-transferable. Preparedness is non-transferable. Because what happened when the foolish bridesmaid said to the wise, Give us some of your oil. The wise bridesmaid said, We can't do that. In other words, their preparedness could not be transferred to those who are not prepared. And when we take all three of these scenarios that we learn, all three of these lessons that we learn from the lesson, from the parable of the wise and foolish bridesmaids, we could apply it to how we prepare ourselves. First of all, there are those who perhaps, I hear about it all the time, were prepared in the past, but grow lax 
as time goes on. One thing I always hear from people every now and again, not anyone from here, but others I run into, is they say, I was raised Catholic. Translation, I'm not Catholic anymore. I don't practice anymore. Of course, I don't say that. When someone says, I was raised Catholic, I simply say, yeah, so was everybody. I run into more ex-Catholics or ex-Christians or non-practicing Catholics than you can shake a stick at. But that could be an example of the oil that they had in the past does eventually run out. And they are not preparing themselves in the present. Either they don't think it's necessary or they might think they've done enough. They're too old to bother themselves now or they're too grown up or too mature or too sophisticated to be prepared through the religious and sacramental ways in which the church uh, helps us to be prepared for that day. Second, we also run into perhaps those in the community, maybe even some here, who cram at the last minute, like students do right before a final. Sometimes that might work. Most of the time it doesn't. Those who weren't that practicing, but now as they come kind of toward the end of their life, assuming they're lucky enough to catch it before the end of their life, they want to be as religious as they possibly can. And that's where many people say, you notice people get more religious the older they get. The closer they get to the end, the more prepared they want to become. Perhaps that's the better of the options, although at the same time we don't want to take it for granted because it might be a time where they realize they need to be prepared and in the end it will be too little, too late. And then there are those who are prepared, those who do practice, those who receive the sacraments regularly but they have family members or friends who don't. And I do hear it often as a priest where they say, my children don't go to Mass, but I go to Mass for them. Well, I hope they're praying for them. But we learn something very, very almost unnerving from the parable of the wise and foolish bridesmaids. The preparedness is non-transferable. We need to, while praying for those who have strayed, encouraging, perhaps even nagging those who have gone astray, to come back to the practice of the faith, to receive the sacraments, so that they too can be prepared. In the end, they don't benefit from our preparedness. Hopefully they just respond from the grace that comes from our prayers. We can't take for granted that we will go to heaven simply because someone else is doing our sacramental preparation for us. And so it's something to consider as we come to the end of this liturgical year and as we go year by year, getting closer and closer to that day when Christ will come again, that we, as followers of Christ, always be prepared, that we don't grow lax. We may grow weary because the bridegroom is delayed in coming. We may not know how or when that event will occur, but we cannot grow complacent, we cannot fall asleep, and we must always find ourselves prepared when the bridegroom finally does come, because in the end, we do know that consequence in today's gospel. We are to presume that they knew who the bridegroom is, who it is who is coming and that he's coming. But in the end, the foolish bridesmaids were told, I never knew you. I do not know who you are. That should give us all pause and a real warning, because while it certainly is politically correct, to presume everyone will be saved. We know the reality that while it is the desire of God that all be saved, Jesus has told us that there will be those who are not. Let's make sure that we are not among those, that we are those fool, no, not those foolish of the bridesmaids, but the wise, not knowing when the bridegroom will come, but nevertheless always finding ourselves prepared through the means that the Church gives us in the sacraments, in His Holy Word, and the faith that we profess, the manner in which we live our lives. And be encouraging to those who, for various reasons, have gone astray and might some way, without it being overtly judgmental on any individual characters that we may come across, could fit into the various categories of how they are like those foolish bridesmaids who are not preparing themselves, who will not find themselves prepared. But let us use the oil, use the means that Christ has given us in and through the ministry of the Church within which we profess this faith. Through the Eucharist we receive from this table, through the sacrament of confession in which we bear forth our sins to receive God's forgiveness, through the other sacraments in which we dedicate our lives through either holy orders or holy matrimony, how we prepare ourselves in sickness or perhaps prefer death, how we raise our children to help them to grow to be mature adults who live that life that is worthy of those to be found prepared for the coming of Christ. 
and pray that one way or another we will all be those wise bridesmaids, those wise stewards who will be found ready and waiting when our Lord comes again.